Okay, as usual, we start with the vocabulary. So the first word is an interesting. Well, it's actually a combination of two words. It's like a phrase. It is sound wave. Now this is very important. Sound wave is the energy that you hear as sound. And what is a wave? Oh, I just drew waves, right? A wave is like this. This is a wave, actually. Yeah. So these are waves. So it, actually, if you look at the ocean, right, you see waves on the ocean. But it's very similar to how sound travels. Through something else, okay. So sound、uh, will travel in a wave. Many things travel in a wave. We can't see it, right? And that's an interesting thing. You cannot see sound. I mean, maybe you can capture images of sound on a computer or with,、uh, you know, some recording instruments, but we cannot. See with our eyes, we cannot see sound, but it travels in a wave, and this is important because as waves pass through different objects or different types of objects, it might slow down or speed up, and that's important. We'll talk about that. So, sound wave and, and the sound. If you think about it, sound is just energy. It's energy. Actually, you know, I'm talking to you right now. But how do you hear me? It's because I'm creating energy with my my larynx and my mouth and my, the air that's coming out of my lungs. All those combine to create some energy that you can pick up and you can distinguish the different sounds that I'm making. That's interesting to think about, isn't it? So it's the energy that you hear as sound. Next, we have echo. I'm sure you've had fun, right? Echoes are kind of interesting. They're they're, they're fun to play with. An echo is a sound that is heard again, right? You hear it again and again and again. Okay, that's an echo after it has reflected off a surface. So, right? That's interesting because we're coming back to the sound wave. So, energy. Traveling as a wave, it hits something, right, and it bounces off and it comes back. So let me just little draw arrows showing the direction of the movement, right. So first, this is this is you. I'm not a very good artist, right, and you're screaming, ah, right, and it the sound, the energy goes like this. It bounces off an object and comes back to your ear. That's an echo. So, if you're in the mountains and there are many cliffs, right? You can say hello. You hear hello, hello, hello. That's the echo that is coming back to you. We call that phenomenon an echo. Okay. Vibrate. Vibrate means that an object moves back and forth quickly. You know, it could have a slow vibration, but usually vibrations happen very quickly. For an object to move quickly, fast, backward and forward, backward and forward, or up and down too, it can also ha have that、uh, kind of motion. So, for an object to move quickly backward and forward or up and down, it's just moving like this. That means vibrate, and vibrate is a verb. Vibration is a noun. Vibration. So, we'll we'll talk about that, of course, in the reading, and it's important to know that word because it, we're talking about how do you hear sound. We'll come back to vibrate. Okay, next. Tap. Tap is a type of hitting something. Actually, you know, it's in the definition right here to hit. Hit. You know, when you when one object. Collides or comes in contact with another object that is to hit. Now, hit. There are many kinds of hits, right? And we have many words in English to describe different types of hits. But a tap is a certain type of hit. It means to hit something quickly and lightly. So think about this: You are walking, and it's very crowded at your school. You're walking down the hallway, and two people are walking. They boop, they bump into each other. Bump is another type of hit, but bump is kind of like tap. 
tap in. But we don't say I tapped into you. You'd say I bumped into you. But if you use your hand right on the wall and you just hit it lightly, like you bump into somebody,、uh, not not hard, not not hard, not with a lot of energy. You just tap it, right? That's tap. Now, if you hit it, right? You punch it. Punch is another type of hit. Punch is stronger, more energy. Punch, right? So, like I said, there's many types of words that we use for hit, different situations. Tap just means that you tap something lightly and quickly. Probably when you go to somebody's door, you don't punch the door to get their attention. You tap on it, right? Tap, tap, tap. Knock, 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 right? To get their attention. Don't punch the door. You'll hurt your hand and you'll confuse the person inside. What's going on? Okay, so tap. Okay. Brain, important word, right? We need our brains.、Um, of course, everybody has a brain. I hope your brain is working well. Of course, it's working well. Okay. The brain is the thing inside your head, the organ inside your head. It's a thing, yes, but it's an organ too. Maybe we should say organ. Your body has many different organs, and these different organs serve different functions. The brain is a very complex, very complicated、uh, organ. It's it has many different parts, and it works. Scientists still don't fully understand how the brain works. How it grows, how it develops. It's a very, very、uh, mysterious but interesting and challenging to study、uh, organ in your body that does a specific thing. What does it do? It control. Yeah, sure, it controls your body. That's one of the things that it does. It controls the、uh, the motion of your body. It controls your breathing. It controls、uh, many. Functions of your body that you need to live, but you also use your brain to think, and to read, and to imagine. Right. So the brain, like I said, is a very complex organ that does many, many different things. Okay. But it also is very important when we're talking about sound. Next, we have eardrum. Did you know you have a drum inside your ear? Yes, there is. Okay, the eardrum is the thing in your ear that vibrates, right? Just like the top of a drum. If you have a drum at home, or you you know you've seen drums before, or maybe you play a drum at school. A drum is like a a, a a a small a box, like a circular box, and it has a thin skin of something on top. It's stretched very tight, and if you tap it, it makes a sound. Well, that skin or that fabric or whatever it is. That's also inside your ear, both your ears, and when sound hits it, it vibrates, and that vibration is what your brain picks up, and your brain interprets that vibration as sound, and that's how you are understanding what I'm saying right now. So, eardrum. It's very important. Our eardrums are are can be fragile, so be careful about listening to very loud sounds. Very big sounds because your eardrum can actually be damaged. So be careful. Don't listen to music that's very loud. Be careful around very loud sounds. Sometimes you might want to wear protection for your ears to protect your eardrums. Next, we have clap. If you see, if you've gone to a movie or a, a, usually a play, or there's a live event in front of you, some people are playing music. Or maybe even just reading a poem. Somebody does something that you like. You hit your hands together. You don't tap your hands. That's that's odd. You hit your hands together and you make a sound. Yay! That's to clap. And if many people do it together, that means that they're the they're everybody is showing their appreciation. Good job. You've done a great job. Okay. So those are our words for the lesson. Lesson fifteen. Sound waves. Sound wave. The energy that you hear as sound. Echo. A sound that is heard again after it has reflected off a surface. 
vibrate. For an object to move quickly, backward and forward. Tap. To hit something quickly and lightly. Brain. The thing inside your head that controls your body. Eardrum. The thing in your ear that vibrates and lets you hear. Clap. To hit your hands together and make a sound.